ago, just getting through after all those close calls. Can you talk a little bit about um, just how beneficial that was for you and just the program in general, just you know, how, how much it shaped where you are today? Yeah, I mean, that, that uh, um, you know, the, the, uh, the shot that Ali made in the UNLV game uh, was probably more important than the one he made against Kansas. Uh, because uh, if that one doesn't go in, you don't, you know, who knows how that turns out. You know, you may or may not get the chance to play Kansas. So um, the way that one ended and the plays our guys made at the end, the shot that, that Ali, uh, you know, made uh, toward the end of that game. Uh, and it was, it was a, it was a really, uh, it was a really hard game from the standpoint of the way in which they played. They, they switched almost everything. So you, we couldn't really run what we wanted to run. So the guys had to make some adjust, uh, adjustments and the guys had to make some plays on their own, and they were able to do that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, they, uh, um, that obviously was, was one, of the, one of the bigger games in, in the history of our program uh, with it being in the NCAA tournament. And also, um, like I said, it, it got us into that round of 32 game against Kansas, and, and we know how, uh, what that has done for our program. <clears throat> as, as Taiwan Pickford's production... <clears throat> freshman, mainly the rebounding that he's done so far. Does that surprise you guys at all, the numbers he's put up in these first seven games? Yeah, a little bit, just because they're of where they're at. Uh, not that he's been a good rebounder. That, the, one of the things that we liked about him was, was how, uh, how active he was. Um, really liked his footwork and his balance and his ability to go and get the basketball. Um, but the numbers are higher than what we would have anticipated. Uh, and then offensively, I, I uh, man, he's just got a good feel for how to play, you know. And he's up until up until the Villanova game, he shot the ball well. He shoot he was shooting it close to forty percent before before the one for nine against Villanova. So through six games, he had shot the ball well from the three point line. Um, he'd scored it a little bit around the basket, and he, he's made some he's made some really good passes, he, very simple passes, but some really good passes, dropping it off to some guys inside for easy baskets and. Um, he just he has got a well-rounded game, and like I said uh, when we started, just a, a quiet confidence. You know, he's not a um, you know an outwardly emotional wear wear all of it on his sleeve kind of guy, but he's competitive, and and I think you see that most. He doesn't take plays off when it comes to rebounding. You know, he he goes every time at both ends of the floor, and that that, that uh, I think tells you know that that tells the story. You know that 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 tells you how competitive a guy is. If, if he's going every single time and is not taking any plays off. And so, he, yeah, he's doing great. And, uh, and as I've alluded to, it's had an impact on his teammates. You know, obviously it's helping our team. Our rebounding is, has been uh, uh, one of the biggest changes. What well, has been the biggest changes from last year to this year. And he's a big part of that because of his numbers. But also, as I've, as I've touched on, you know, that puts some, that puts some uh, pressure on the other guys. Bennett, Clint, you know, whomever else, that puts some pressure on those guys to do their job you know, and, and the guards to block out. So that, uh, yeah, he's off to a good start. You, you had similar <clears throat> results last year in Orlando beating Oklahoma, played really well against Xavier, but lost oh, in that right. title 